Hey, what's going on? Well, today we're going to do something uh, really special. I decided to uh, come into the room where I store my DJ equipment, and uh, we're actually going to hook up my old DJ speakers, the original ones that I had for 20 years now, my JBLs that you've probably seen in the very first few gig logs that I did, and then also I've got another pair of JBLs I used to use, and then uh, the Pro-L speakers that I used to use for ceremonies. So I'm going to show you each one of those sets of speakers here in just a little bit, and we're going to try them out and see how they work. Now I want to mention that I will be selling those before too long. I'm kind of going to be thinking about maybe going to Guitar Center because I know that they um, buy used uh, DJ equipment. So I'm going to see maybe if they, if they could possibly buy them from me. But if not, I may end up putting these things on uh, Facebook Marketplace or trying to sell them locally. I just really haven't decided yet. But anyway, I just thought it would be kind of neat just to kind of go take a trip back down memory lane and I can show you where I started out and um, the speakers that I used to use that used to break my back. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, so we'll start out with the two small Pro L's. Now these are ones that I got for ceremonies, and I used to use these for ceremonies. And it's probably been probably about six or seven years at least since I've used these. But I did use these for, like I said, ceremonies and also smaller events that I would use for the, um, uh, you know, like parties and that kind of thing. And uh, anytime I, I, you know, like if I had a, a party in a small house or something like that, I would uh, use those speakers. But of course, then I got my Fender Passport, and, uh, and the Fender Passport sort of replaced those. So I hadn't used those in years, like I said. So I won't be looking at selling those. Now the two middle speakers here, those are the JBL Pros. That, uh, that I used, and you'll probably notice those from some earlier gig logs. I, I used those probably, I want to say, from like maybe, I don't know, 2009 all the way up till 2013 maybe, early 2014 I believe it was, and uh, those were the ones that, that I used on most of my gigs, and they weigh a ton too. They're pretty heavy, but they, they sound great, and uh, you know, they were always a, a really a good speaker there. Of course, JBL always you know, made really good, um, good speakers. And in these speakers down below, that you see right here, these JBLs, these are the ones that were actually my very first set of speakers. Yeah, those right there, those are my original speakers I used. Uh, they've been with me ever since 2003. I used those at the very first gig that I ever did. And uh, those are just a little bit different than the pros up here, but uh, they still are JBLs and they're very similar. And uh, you know what, they're really good speakers as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, test these things out and see how they sound. All right, so before we uh, test these speakers out, I wanted to show you this. I found this in the closet, and I don't have this hooked up or anything, but this is my original mixer that I used when I first started out in my mobile DJ business. I used this probably for about the first, I don't know, maybe four, four years or so, I guess, maybe when I first started mobile DJing, back from, like, say, maybe 2003 to, like, 2005 or six, maybe something like that. I can't really remember, but I definitely have not used this for years. But uh, you can see how old it is there. It's got the CD1, CD2 labels there and the microphone uh, uh, label. And it was only a three-channel mixer, but it worked out good. It was, a, it was a good mixer for me for the years that I used it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not going to sell this one or anything. I think I may just give this to my two little nephews and have them play around with it since they like to do that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd just showcase that for you and just let you see that. But, yeah, that's my first mixer right there that I used when I first started out in, in uh, mobile DJing back in 2003. And then I want to show you my power amps here. These are my two QSC power amps that were used to power the speakers that uh, I just showed you. And uh, that top one there was my main one, and then that bottom one there was my backup one. Now, that bottom one there used to be uh, my uh, main amp. and that matter of fact, that's the one I've used since 2003. That was the very first amp that I ever had, and it, it later became a backup, but this was the one that I used, uh, for, for the most part, as my main one. And, uh, you know, I've still got it uh, powered up right now. So, yeah, like I said, these things weigh a ton, too, it seems like, um, you know, especially uh, since it's been years since I've, mo I've moved them. So, you know, I'm glad that everything's gone powered now, and I use my RCF speakers that are powered. I don't have to worry about hauling these things around, but, you know what, still a good, uh, good product there, that's for sure. Okay, we got the Pro L's going right now. You can tell they sound really great. Of course, uh, you can only hear the quality just you know by how my camera uh, actually showcases it. But trust me, they sound great. And yeah, these these uh, speakers always really surprise me too. They're 12 inch, but they really put out a lot of power. They really did a lot uh, a lot of good when I when I had ceremonies and small parties. That's for sure. But those are the Pro L's right there. Okay, so now I got the, um, the two uh, JBL Pros in the middle there going. So that's what they sound like. Like I said, still sounding great in 2023. All 
right, so I'm going to unplug those, and we're going to plug in the uh, bottom speakers and uh, check out the uh, speakers I've had since 2003, my very first pair. All right, and there we go. There's my oldest speakers there. Still sounding great. Those are the ones that have been with me for the full 40 years. Those are the speakers I used in my first gig, and they're still sounding great. Don't believe me, just why. Don't believe me, just So there you go. That's just a quick demo of my original speakers I've had uh, since, uh, well, since 2003, and the ones that I used before I had the uh, RCFs that I use now. So uh, anyway, like I said, I'm going to be putting these things up for sale here before too long. Probably going to see if Guitar Center would like to buy them first, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with them after that. But um, you know, it's just that I'm probably never going to use them at another mobile gig again because they're so heavy and stuff. And uh, you know, we come out with some other things. So I'm going to be looking at getting some other sound equipment, and you know, I think that these may do some somebody else some good. You know, you just never know. But anyway, they, they still sound great, as you can tell. I mean, 20 years, you know, and they're still sounding great. That just goes to prove that uh, JBL definitely does make some good products. And like I said, those uh, two Pro L's that you see there that I used to use for ceremonies, they work really great as well. So, uh, you know, I think that was a good investment uh, many years ago that when, I, when I got those for uh, ceremonies. But again, I really don't need them anymore because I got my Fender Passport, which works out well now. So, uh, you know, as technology changes, everything else changes. It doesn't mean necessarily that the older technology is bad. It's just we just have stuff that's easier uh, nowadays. Kind of like uh, transitioning from, you know, black and white TVs to uh, color TVs and flat screen TVs. You know, if you still wanted to, well, I guess watch something on a black and white TV. If you can find something to watch on black and white TV, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just we've had better technology since then. So not that the black and white technology was ever bad. It was actually good back in the day. So anyway, that's where we're going to leave this. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. we got a wedding next weekend, so I'll be talking to you more about that and look for a gig log post next weekend as well. Practice and enjoy.